Hi there. Uh, this is a bit different because I don't have a working phone to actually video record myself. But welcome to part two of doing medical school exams in a pandemic. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Because some of you guys have been blessed. You've managed to do your exams, well done, graduated, you know, grads of 2020. But you managed to do that at home, online. But for me, I had to do my exams in person. So we've just spoken about exactly what's happened before and now let me walk you through about what happens during the exam. You're going to be walking in to the exam hall and normally you'd look for your ID number or your surname or your name so you know what your allocated seat is. But in this case, because we don't want the germs to be spreading, we just get assigned randomly. So whoever gets seat number one gets seat number one. You don't have your name there. So that's quite different in that sense. So possibly you could be sitting near your friends, but doesn't mean you cheat. Another thing I thought I'd point out, which would be quite useful for some of you, is the timing in which you would do your exam. In our co cohort, we have 250 people, and that was split evenly-ish, a morning exam and to an afternoon exam. And this was just to um, accommodate um, everyone in that space, just because we won't be able to put the chairs and stuff closer. I'm a morning person, and also I'm not too hungry in the morning. So I was really hoping that I got a morning exam, but unfortunately, just because of my surname, I think I was in the afternoon exam. That was a bit annoying. You also want to make sure what your revision schedule is like as well, like leading up to the exam. Especially if you're a bit of a night owl and you wake up like at 1pm, which is fine. You want to kind of reset that, especially if your exam's in the morning. So obviously, you've now sat down, you found your desk or whatever, and you're sitting there with your exam and you're going to do, what, a one hour, two hour, maybe even three hour exam. And I think my best advice to anyone out there is before the exam, like not the morning before, but a few days before, practice doing some questions wearing your mask. It sounds silly, but I promise you, it helped to break that weird barrier just so that I could get used to like what it would be like in the exam. When you're doing an exam, it can be quite stressful, especially when you've got this mask on that is just annoying in your face. And another thing is figure out what mask works best for you. Our university recommended that we just use a surgical mask. Some people use cloth masks, others use that one with the little, not ventilator, but the little hole thing in it, I can't remember what it's called. Just figure out which one is most comfortable for you so that you're not like freaked out, like you sit in the exam and like, oh my God, I have to do an exam with my mask on. And it's just a more calming experience for you guys. And most importantly, if you do feel like it's a bit suffocating for you, what I kind of tried to do was just, I'd like readjust my mask a little bit just so some air would flow in. Um, so that's just something that I did just to make sure that I wasn't like sweating or whatever. And finally, aside from masks is clothing. And this is dependent obviously of the weather as well. Because of COVID, um, they had to open all of the windows. So especially if you're sitting on a window seat, like in your exam hall, you don't want to be sitting there in like a vest top or like a t-shirt because you're going to be cold. I'd recommend wear something like a bit of a sweater kind of thing. Um, because our university don't let us wear hoodies and I literally live in hoodies and jumpers and also my dressing gown. My housemates will know I just live in my dressing gown. I literally sleep in it. I like do my dishes with it. Anyway, you don't need to know this information. But the point is just wear comfy clothing that is going to keep you warm-ish and you're not going to shiver because of the fact that they've opened all the windows as well. And then the final bit is once you've done your exam, you can just breathe and chill out and just say to yourself, I've done my best, this is all I can do. And we just work towards the next goal, which is the next exam. I hope this video was really, really informative. Uh, just kind of giving you an idea of what happens before, during and after. I don't know if that's gonna be flipped like before, during, after. Anyway, I hope you've learned something. Just basically don't panic and just gonna get used to wearing masks. That's my biggest advice. And if you did find it useful, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all of that jazz and send it to your aunties on the WhatsApp group chats because I'm sure they want to see me ranting about exams so yeah.